the weekend pump played out exactly as we predicted here on Friday's show. We're at about 69K at 68.7 at this point in time. Bitcoin's up 1.63% on the daily. And I think there's a lot of niches that are dominating the market right now. Obviously, meme coins, they're going to be the king of the market. We have to just acknowledge that at this point in time. We have AI agent meme coins, which are the hot trend right now. Gaming is emerging soon. I believe whenever we see the on on-chain liquidity from off the grid whenever mainnet and the token goes live we see a big pump in the gaming niche but i think one niche that's attached to the main narrative right now is simply way undervalued and when we look at some of these charts it's going to be eye-opening because i think there are great dip opportunities across the board in this sector we'll give my favorite picks in this sector in this video let's go ahead and dive right into it guys like the video down below and subscribe to the channel for more every single day and week here on In The Game for all of your crypto gaming, AI, and meme coin insights. As well, shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have amazing sponsors like Ledger, Epic War, we have FOMO, we have Blowfin, we have Bybit, we have all of our exchange partners like WeX down below, as well as Moon Tropica. And look, I have some gameplay. I'm going to put together some clips because we had an amazing play session with the team recently. And I think I'm going to be streaming some Moon Tropica with some of my friends. I have been telling you guys lots that Moon Tropica, as far as multiplayer games that are just fun, memeable, the characters to the gameplay to the way that you can just innovate throughout this game it really is amazing you throw things the different weapons it's it's an incredible experience whenever you're playing with friends i believe we'll doing li uh, we will be doing a live stream of moon tropico with some of my friends gorilla icy peyton it's going to be a good time we're going to hop in with the team and definitely create some uh viral meme worthy content so big shout out to moon tropica i'm going to clip together some gameplay i'm going to show it on tomorrow's video as well as looking forward to stream this for you guys and show you just how much fun it is to play with your friends and it's one of the best communities in all of crypto so a big shout out to moon tropica let's go ahead and dive into the show and it's funny you know they always talk about the bitcoin cycles the crypto bull market cycles and they always do tend to play out very similarly. And this chart here just shows that 2016, 2020, and it looks like 2024, we're getting about to this blue line where we typically start to see nothing but upward momentum from the majority of the rest of the cycle. And guys, we are eight days away from the election here in the United States. It is a tale as old as time that the election, there is a pump around that time period. People get more excited. They're just in a better mood. More people go out to the polls because they're feeling like they're going to make a difference, right? So this is a key time of the year, eight days until the election cycle. And that is really historically been the time where the bull market really kicks into speed over the following 10 to 12 months. So I think Q4 is going to be very fruitful. I think closing out the year even beyond what we term as October is also going to be an incredible time period for the market. And some of those niches, as mentioned, like gaming, you know, Black Ops 6, the new Call of Duty title just went live. And you know, off the grid, a lot of their player base, just to be completely honest, went over to play Call of Duty. Call of Duty is the name brand title. It is the title that has been around since I was a kid. It's the game that made me fall in love with first person shooters and competitive gaming. It's what got me into the esports space. So even myself, I have a bias towards games like Call of Duty. I just love that I'm in love with the Call of Duty franchise since I was a kid, right? I think it's been. 17 years since I picked up that Call of Duty 4 and that changed my life because that's what eventually got me into crypto games and now we're here, right? So you look at the activity, 100 million transactions, 9 million wallets, and over 3 million transactions per day. The player count is definitely down and, and no matter what the numbers would show, there are still many people transacting, marketplace, hex extracting. But I think it's going to take a couple of weeks or up until the next off the grid campaign until you really see those player numbers tick back up and a little bit of optimization in the game. But I mean, I got to tell you, I play the game every day. We, we caught a fire win last night. Gorilla clutched up with 15 kills. I had 10 kills. Icy with five. 
we got this win late night last night to, to go ahead and close out the evening. And I have a fire gameplay for you guys as well, where I went 15 and 0. I'm going to be posting that up on the channel as well, giving you guys some insights on off the grid, the pros, the cons, the goods, the bads, the uglies, and why this game is probably the future of blockchain gaming. So gaming is looking up. And I think that once the gun token goes live, we see the gaming sector really trend upward. You guys know the coins uh, that I'm isolating there. They really haven't changed. I would stick to the power couples of, of the top, top niches. Prime, probably Super. I would go with Beam. I'd go with Ronin. I'd look at IMX. I'd maybe even look at undervalued plays that have taken a hit like Zai or Zentry. Uh, Nakamoto games, you know, Nakamoto, 300 play to earn games in their ecosystem, lots of different mini games and experiences to jump into. I think Nakamoto gaming is still going to have a massive bull run this time around. There are so many good gaming coins that you could jump in and take advantage of that really, I mean, Crown is down 45% this month. When gaming turns around, Crown has been one of the best performers, but that is a massive dip for a game that has crazy player base, as well as it's a revenue driving game. There's a lot of liquidity in that game. And a big shout out to Xborg. Like, man, Xborg is crushing. They're maintaining this price level of 26 cents. I have to say the, the team did a really good job going to market there. And I, I think that that's a uh, phenomenal case study as to how to launch a coin. And then I like Polis in the Solana ecosystem here. It's down 40% this month. If we're looking at low caps, you guys know I like Wagme, I like uh, Moon Tropica, and I like Citus. Those are the ones that I would isolate down here in the low market cap section. Moving along in the gaming we do have a big announcement from parallel so the prime token they have the prime championship march 1st and 2nd at the hyper x arena in las vegas the five hundred thousand dollar prize pool this final tournament will be for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so a big event going on here in the parallel ecosystem and then we have OG from Games GG, over 400 hours played this weekend um, on the Parallel TCG Cloud game, which is on Games GG, built by Aether. So this is incredible. No hardware needed to jump in. It's on the cloud. You just jump right in and you can play the top card game in all of Web3. It looks like whoever's playing here, bro, is in like a... Uh, Bro's in like a body shop or something like that in a garage. Uh, the guy in the background looks like he's working hard and then this guy looks like he's hardly working or he's working on his skills inside of the parallel ecosystem. And honestly, Prime is uh, one of the coins that has been hit hard, down 32% this month. I think that gaming is providing a lot of opportunities. Memes continue to steal the show. I mean, when we're talking about meme coins, they're the ones that are consistently in the green. There's a lot that are taking hits. You know, Sundog, Billy, they're having a little bit of a rough month. You know, the Tron narrative has calmed down quite a bit. But the stuff near the top, you know, the Mogs, the Dogecoins, the Ponkies, they're just absolutely crushing, which leads us into the main discussion of today's show. The niche that is killing it right now. And honestly, like... I think this niche is so ridiculous. It's AI agents meme coins. They are they're memes dealing with AI. I really I I think that this narrative has legs long term. Do not get me wrong. If we look at the AI agents, look at the trends over October, like compared to the data here. So this is a uh, Miles posted this up and he does amazing research on these types of things. But to me, this is sucking liquidity out of not only traditional meme coins, it's not only sucking liquidity out of like the, the top gaming coins, but AI coins are absolutely getting killed. And by the way, if you guys want to follow my watch list, I have a watch list here, 153 coins. I'll leave the link down below. Nexus Labs, absolutely free to use, or we have a premium platform. It can track over a hundred chains, I think, I believe, on this uh, platform we've built out from top to bottom. You jump into your portfolio, you can see all of your wallets. We have a launch pad, you can track the markets top to bottom. It really is one of the best tools in all of crypto. I'll leave my watch list link down below so you guys can also follow my main watch list. I know a lot of people have asked about that. Just create an account and you can follow the watch list absolutely free. But let's dive into AI. Because look, AI has been the best performing sector in crypto over the last 
uh, quarter, over the last six months, over the last year. It is the top performing sector and it really isn't even close, meme coins aside, right? And we have successes recently, like Humans AI, up 78% over the month, over two cents at this point in time. It kind of does uh, work as an AI agent, so it makes sense why this one is not really uh, being affected by this current meme AI thing that's going on. I, I just, when I'm looking, if, if we filter this backwards, the dips that we're seeing are tremendous. I mean, Hash AI is down 53% this month. We have Skillful AI down 45% this month. Anyone down 41%. We have Conducts down 37%. We have ZKML down 37%. Prime down 32%. Aether down 30%. So even, even the blue chips, so people would always argue, oh, well, those are lower market cap tokens. Of course, they're going to go down that much. Near protocol is down 24%. It's a $5 billion token. Render is down 26%. That's a $2.5 billion token. To me, this just screams opportunity. Even the tank of the market which is Tau. Tau is the AI machine of this market, is down now over the month of 5% whenever it just had an astronomical run. Liquidity has gone into these AI memes. And while I understand that people's attention span is smaller, so they want to pivot into the next hot thing. But secondly, and I think what, what really is driving this People have gotten so impatient on waiting on teams to ship product. Gaming is a testament to this, right? You bet on a gaming coin, you have to wait years to see this thing materialize. Whereas meme coins, you feel like you get that instant dopamine. It's already there. They're not promising you anything. There's not this elusive roadmap and white paper. But to be fair, if you bet on the good AI projects right now, I think this is a steal when it comes to a lot of these prices. One that hasn't been hit too hard, but is still trending You know, over 8% over the month, but down 13% this week, Node AI. Uh, so for me, I'm bidding on normal AI coins right now. I think that AI will have another massive run here. You can deploy on Node AI super easily. You can either use excess GPU power, which... I have my main computer, my uh, my gaming PC. I don't use that one. That is that is for gaming specifically. But this PC over here, not my Mac, my uh, my old gaming PC. It's a little older hard drive, for example. Uh, I and GPU. It's I think this one is like a twenty something. But I'm using it on Node AI. I'm getting tangible rewards every single day. And you can also jump in here and utilize that same technology with Node AI. I mean, GPU makes it super easy and they're already shipped. They, they have their blockchain testnet already out there. So this is something that's not too far down the track. You're not having to wait too much for this to come through the pipeline. So for me, something like a GPU is an amazing bet. I think humans AI continues to trend up. It is still up over the month. So right now I would focus on things that have been hit hard. Honestly, the ones I'm looking at the highest are Prime. Why would I look at Prime? Hustle, that's a gaming coin, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. But we also have the gaming coin. AI game coming out from Parallel, which is called Colony. This is an official collaboration and is powered by OpenAI. It's already in testing on different devices. And look, this is going to be sick. You just talk to your AI companion and you build up this colony and you interact. It's multiplayer. Like it's going to be absolutely sick. And this is going to change the game whenever it comes to Prime. I think that this right here, you can look at the white paper. It's an AI-powered survival simulation game. This is going to change the narrative as far as gaming and AI, and I think it's a good second catalyst behind Off the Grid because AI gaming, I think, is still so underutilized, and really, people aren't di di diving into it hard enough. I think that whenever this goes live, people will jump into the trenches of AI games, and I'm really excited to see what Colony does bring through the door. Down 32% this month, that is one I am definitely looking at. Pal. Pal is one of the most established AI coins in the market. It is down 27% over the 30-day time period. That is another one I'd absolutely jump on for some DCAs. And even at the highest level, Render down 26%. Let's look at the year chart for Render. And I just want to point out, Render got up to $13.30. You're literally getting like a 60% discount on this token right now. 
Like I understand we, we all wanna be in the hot narrative right now, but you also have to prepare yourself for the hot narrative next month or next quarter. And these are the times to take advantage of these big dips because I think alt season could come through the door if we see all time highs break out on Bitcoin. We're only $5,000 on Bitcoin away from bursting through that. And it just doesn't feel like that. So you're still early. And I think that's what people miss is we all get caught up in the euphoria of the now and oh, did I miss this? You really haven't. We haven't even seen alt season yet. Not even close. So there's lots of good plays up here. Even the top stuff, near protocol, render, both down 25%. I'd take advantage of those dips. And even so, if you missed Tau on this astronomic run it just went on. Let's just go look at the year chart here for Tau. Recently got up to 666. Uh, I, I, that's a bad price, uh, all time highs here of 735. So to be honest, like this is a nice discount on Tau, and it's one of my top plays. Whenever I gave that 10 token portfolio, I think a little over a month ago, Tau was front and center as my AI pick of that portfolio. So for now, no matter what it is, if it's desync, if it's PAL, if it's GPU, if it's humans AI, if it's prime, if it's any of these top AI coins that are down, even render and near protocol, like I mentioned, AI, I think is a great bet to take right now, given the price action over the last month, you're really catching some good dips on a narrative that is not going away. If anything, AI is only going to really thrive. I think AI will still be the second biggest niche in crypto this cycle behind meme coins, just to be completely honest. As much as I love gaming, AI is so in the now. Like gaming, we had like this euphoric peak during the thing that happened in 2020 that kept us in our houses. I can't say it because of Google and YouTube guidelines, but AI is growing so much in real time. We're starting to see these machines and these apps and stuff like that. This is front and center for this cycle, and I would absolutely take advantage of the dips here in AI. And I want to give an honorable mention because partnered up with NVIDIA here is Wilder World, and Wilder World is the absolute top metaverse narrative play this cycle as far as gaming, metaverse, they have their shooter, they have a racing game, they have an open world, and a lot of it is going to be powered by AI. The conversations you have in the game I have heard are going to actually not be NPCs. They are AI, it's adaptable. The things that you can do inside this game could change and alter based off of your actions in this game. And I've been hinting at this, but their real estate slash metaverse economy is going to absolutely change the game. The map is, I, I believe they said 10 times the size of Grand Theft Auto and 20% of the token supply is locked into the islands and the resources. And this is going to act like traditional real estate. Imagine putting a hundred wild into a piece of land and you get to keep that hundred wild in value. Think of that because when you invest in property, it is to preserve value or even maybe go through price appreciation. This will be one of the first examples of that in the crypto space. And they are also tied in to the AI narrative with their partnership with NVIDIA. So that's what I got for today, guys. I'm really looking into the AI niche right now as one of the, I mean, just given the meta, like what Miles showed here, the AI agent thing. It's a meta that comes and goes, I think, like everything else. But I think AI overall is still here to stay, and the AI coins are beaten down so hard. Obviously, my focus is gaming, but I'm seeing massive opportunity. My gaming bags are packed, but I could stack up some of these top AI coins a little higher and be ready for that next leg up, especially if we see all-time highs coming up in the markets. We probably see the altcoins in the AI sector do very, very well. So guys, like the video, subscribe down below. I have a banger video coming out tomorrow on Call of Duty off the grid. This is going to be a masterpiece of a case study and I really hope you guys watch that one. But like the video, subscribe down below. Let me know the narratives and the coins that you're looking to pick up. If it's AI, what coins are you DCAing? And do you think this AI agent narrative is just another narrative that will pass over? Or will these AI agent coins at the end of the day just filter into the AI narrative? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video. As always, Play well, my friends, and stay bullish, my friends.